Hey, what is up everyone? In this video, we're we'll talking about everything you need to know about the May Sea of Thieves update. And as you can see right now, I got some of the stuff from the Emporium. That's our first big update. I'm not gonna go and talk about those too much just because I basically had a bunch of videos came out this morning covering all the different sets that came out. So if you're interested in any of this stuff, definitely go check out those before you buy guides. If we head over into the Pirate Emporium, if you go to the pirate tab, we have a new chest item mode that you can get, and this is free. This is looks really cool. Uh, I think this was supposed to come out a while ago, but it just didn't for some reason. So it's nice that we have this now. Next thing to know is about this month's Twitch drops. This is going to happen on the 27th of May through the 2nd of June. So it's actually not just this month, but it goes to the last weekend of the month, so it kind of counts. Next we have some new Outpost Cosmetics with the Eastern Winds Jade set now having the rest of the stuff that was missing at the different weapon, clothing, and ship shops. We also have down in the Pyre Legend hideout, you can buy new Dark Adventure tattoos. Or I should say tattoo, there's only one of them. But this looks pretty cool, but it's almost a million gold, so better make a wise decision if you want to buy that. Alright, so we got some gameplay improvements in this update. First, starting with Megalodons have been returned to the game so they can, basically, you can find them randomly out in the water. It was disabled during the Shrouded Deep adventure, but that has now ended, so all the Megalodons are back in the season, you can randomly find them. You also see the Skeleton Fleet spawn again with the ominous ship cloud in the sky, letting you know that you can go do that world event. The next one's pretty interesting. So Moro's Peak Outpost is gonna not have volcanic activity anymore. The volcano there is dormant, I guess. And so if you're going to sell there, you won't have any problems anymore. That's a really nice update because it was really annoying that the closest outpost was always under like volcanic ash and having stuff fly down and stuff while you're trying to sell. All right, so the next one's another nice one. So Sirens will now take longer pauses between using their abilities to give players more room to breathe between attacks. I feel like every time we get an update with the Sirens involved, they just keep getting more and more nerfed. I feel like at a certain point they're just going to like disappear completely. This next one might upset some of you, but the Legend of the Veil vale Haunted Islands are being balanced so that the Brigantine and Galleon crews will now encounter more phantoms while fighting on the Haunted Islands. So. This is to help balance it compared to solo and duo crews. One big bug that got fixed that I know a lot of people will be happy about is that Lorena is now offering the barrel disguise and rolling dice emotes again. So this got disabled for some reason in the last month's update, but it's now back and I know a lot of people will stop leaving comments on that one video saying that I lied to them and where is it? <laughs> so that's nice. Alright, so that's everything you need to know about the May Sea of Thieves update. If you enjoyed this video, it'd be great for the like and subscribe. Definitely go check out those other videos on the channel if you're interested. And until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye y'all.